Hi, my name's Hart Seeley. I'm a reporter for the Post Standard, and we're here in Baldwinsville. This is Tom Pyre, a world-famous comic book writer, author of Superman and Doom Patrol and Justice League, am I correct? But you have never before, my understanding is, you've never before been a carper, a carp fisherman. Is that a, that's a fish? Exactly. We are here at the Northeast Regionals of the ACS Northeast Regionals in Baldensville, New York, to deal with a mystical, magical fish that over the years has been maligned and I believe misunderstood in the bywaters and waterways of upstate New York and in the folklore of upstate New York. We're talking about the yellowfin, the carp, the gigantic beast that strolls through those waterways. They are the size of the luggage you would win for playing the home version of Hollywood Squares. These things are big, and what we're going to see today, Tom, is the world according to carp. One of the elements of proper carping is to have proper equipment. When you're gonna go out there and you're gonna tangle with those babies, you better know what you're doing and you better have the right tools. So for starters, this is gonna attract them. They like light. Hold on to that. You ever handle one of these? No. No. Okay, you're handy. You know how to use this. I do. I do. I know how to use this. If the carp is giving us a hard time, this, I can't stand it when they look at us. Okay? I can't stand it when they look at us. And this, baby carp. Alright? <laughs> Alright. Let's go get him. Ready? No. The mighty Seneca River. Here. You can just look into this water and you can wonder what's going on down there. Look at that. Did you see that? I missed it. Well, you can see the ripples out there. I can there. see the ripples, but I missed it. I'm not really a morning person. I don't see it. Oh, oh. We brought some equipment. Uh, is this is this stuff legal? Like this would be the mallet that you'd use on a, on a small one, just to uh, stun him a little bit. So I was gonna say he has nothing in his hand that would be in my kit. Well, I mean, uh, this would be so that uh, if he's giving you the eye, just while you're weighing him, and that would get you disqualified. That would get you disqualified. Well, why would that be? You're not gonna hurt the fish. You're just gonna cover his eyes so you don't. Here, here. Do... Leave your eyes open, and I'll I'll show you what. It, well, I would. Would... <laughs> <laughs> and the carp club. Just in case uh, they're too big to get. Too big. You don't to, want to get too close to them. Just in, you know, down boy. Now, would that be allowed in this uh, in this competition, or would you we could be using it. a? You could use it. Getting a, an unfair advantage. Do you have to think like a carp? Do you, do you have to outthink the carp? You mean like uh, if I know what he's thinking or something like that? Oh yeah, you know, he's, he's so smart, you know. So what do you think he's into? No, is, like, he looking for, is he looking for women? Is he looking for food? Is, what's he actually, watching? actually the biggest carps, they are women. Oh. They're female because uh -huh. they are, you uh -huh. know, spawning, so they are uh -huh. pregnant. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, no, they are, you know, they are feeding, you know, always mm. eating. Uh -huh. we, uh -huh. we are using like, you know, we using like for charming. We using corn. Mm -hmm. We using hemp. Mm -hmm. Hemp make hemp make carp more hungry. If he is eating, hemp, well, hemp makes everybody more hungry. Yeah. So I'm using strawberry. Strawberry. This is like actually this is like a regular maize, sweet corn pips. Uh huh. Just a regular natural corn uh -huh. with the flavor. Uh huh. And a color. Uh huh. Color is really important too. Uh huh. And a pineapple works. Pineapple. Uh -huh. Pineapple works great. Mm -hmm. Yesterday we cut everything for pineapple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a corn too. Uh -huh. Is that? Is, I mean, do you, how, what does that taste like? Uh, Pyre. Yo. Come here. This is uh, all natural, so sure. don't worry. Okay. Believe me. Right. I can. I can. That's like a half if you want. 
Oh, it's good. Whatever people like, Scarf likes too. It's a little dry. Got like an aftertaste. <laughs> you want some water? Gonna, yeah, that would be good. Thanks. You got a little on your lip. Oh, Do I? Okay, Jake. This is a carp the size of a small child. Big carp. All right, you want to get in on this? Iron is a novice, in what way? A complete novice. He's doing research for a future supervillain in a Superman comic book. Uh, right? Well, no. No. No, it's not, not true. true at all. I'm just here. I'm here because you told me we were going to do something fun. What's the secret to doing 50 hours of this? The secret? Yeah. Getting a good night's sleep. Oh. Beforehand. Wednesday night, but we didn't do that either. <laughs> Why were we so down on the carp for so long? Uh, I, I think because the ba things like Bass Pro, Bass Masters, you know, mm -hmm. the glorified the bass, the walleye, uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. that. And, and carp isn't native to the U.S. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. it was brought over uh -huh. in the late 1800s as a food source. Uh -huh. And then again in the uh, 1930s after the, or during the Depression. Uh -huh. And just the word carp, you know, if you're yeah. carping about something, right. nobody, you know, wants to hear it. Right. Uh, well, we brought our equipment, you know. Yeah. We weren't sure that. what... Uh, I see that. Cape. So, they're not looking at you. You know? Right over the eyes. Yeah, over the eyes. So we just figured the grill right before you cook them. <laughs> we just figured the carp would see this and not want mess to with you. mess with us. Exactly. Are those allowed in this kind of a competition, or would that be like I guess, I, I, I guess I guess anything would be allowed, but I think we'll stick with our equipment over here. Yeah. And see yeah. how you guys make out. Check in with you later. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So, so Pyre, have you ever done anything for 50 hours? I was married for 50 hours one time, and uh, one time I watched uh, all three Lord of the Rings movies in one day. Since time immemorial, this has been man against nature, man against fish, man uh, in water, and uh, in the natural, natural scenario. And um, and this is it. This is the cutting edge right here. Do you ever hear yourself? This has like been the worst day. I've been. I thought we were gonna watch TV or something, and then you're all out, out here about all this. I liked eating. I liked eating the bait. That was the good part. I saw an eel or something. It was a snake. It was, it a was snake. like an, It was like electric. I don't. I don't. I don't want to be this close to the water. I didn't even know we were gonna come here. And then there's all this equipment that you have obviously have no idea what you're doing and you come off like usual like you know absolutely everything about everything and you know absolutely nothing as usual I take you out I try to help you out and uh, this is what I get this is what I get well yeah well yes this is what you get this is what you get. Did you, you get see, what did you, you reap? Those, what did you, you see sow, those carp? Did you see those carp you out there? Did you, you see sow. those carp jumping? You haven't had a chance to see a carp jump like that. TV's not going to give you that. You can't stay inside your house all day long and watch TV. You're not going to see a carp jump on TV. You see a carp jump on TV, and it doesn't look like what it looks like out here. And then you want to make that guy had the that guy had the carp. That guy had the carp, and you life. told me you wanted me to pet it. This is a 24/7 nature channel. You wanted me to pet the carp. This is a huge. It's like that carp was dying. It's like I'm a grave. Clown around with the body of a dying fish. Do you want to watch TV? Do you want to watch TV? What would you watch? Bridge Street. Bridge Street. I like Bridge Street. I don't know. This is Bridge Street. I don't know. This is a train Bridge Street.